Hi everybody, lovely to have you with us this evening for the Lord is on my side and it's delightful to have Linda Uesta, my friend, with us. Um, Linda and I are both in our nightwear this evening so I don't know whether that's just a sign that standards are slipping or my children were like, you're recording in your onesie mum, but um, that's a true fact. Um, now, for those of you who know Linda, you will know that she is a unique individual and there are many unusual things about Linda. She has a corgi that she walks around Openshaw with and likes to think of herself as the queen. Not really. She has a very unique house. Her sense of decoration is fascinating. She <laughs> crochets while she's waiting for the bride to arrive at weddings. Um, even when she turns to her friend and says, is this appropriate? And I say, no, she keeps crocheting. Um, she crochets to keep herself awake in Paul Jump sermons. Um, but um, <laughs> there's met, so there's many unique things about Linda. I think possibly uh. the most unique thing when you get a phone call from Linda, you never know what's coming. But um, a few, maybe about a year ago, Linda rang me and said, Jill, I've just bought my coffin. And I said, oh, interesting. And not just that she just put, I thought she'd put down a deposit with an undertaker. No, she had bought it. She was using it as some shelves in her spare room. And she went on to describe in detail to me her plans for the decoration of the outside of it and um, things that I need to know about that. So, um, yeah, that probably, uh, and probably is the most interesting <laughs> thing about Linda, although I could tell you many other stories, but um, we had a hard chat this week when we were mm. wrestling with the fact that two good friends of ours had been diagnosed with COVID. And I said to Linda, hey, we should have that conversation again and share it with people because some of the things that the Lord was saying to Linda really encouraged my heart. So Linda, thanks for um, being bullied into coming on. And um, do you want to share with us a little bit about the things that the Lord's shown you this week that have really helped you trust that he's on your side? Mm, thanks, Jill. Don't, don't believe all that Jill says. And uh, the, my corgi, my corgi is the only posh thing about me. Um, but, I, but I have bought a coffin and um, it was, I, I have my will sorted, my power of attorneys are sorted because I am, I'm one of those people. Yeah, Jill, Jill and Judith and Esther Bull can spend my money. Um, but the reason why I've done that really and why I bought a coffin, it, it wasn't, I know it's a bit quirky, but it really is, I, I want to be prepared. I want to, it's always been a, a big deal for me i i want to be prepared for when the lord comes because the reality is he he will come and he's going to come for each one of us um and and being physically ready is is important but um uh, in in the week as joe was saying two of our friends uh have been diagnosed with COVID, and and on Tuesday evening, I, I talked to my aunt um, and their church minister who served them well for so many years. And he died suddenly. Well, not suddenly, he had COVID and, and then died, but he died alone. And I think that's the thing that, that scared me more than, or scares me more than anything else. And so it was Tuesday night that I was lying awake for a long time in the middle of the night. And you know how lonely and middle of the night can be. And I was, I was thinking about the, the fact that I possibly could use my coffin in the next two, three weeks, months. My, I might not turn 94. Um, and and, and I often think about that um, Peter Pan, Jay and Barry in Peter Pan said that to die will be an awfully great adventure. And that got me, I mean, I often think about this, to, what, what will it be like to, to die, to, to leave this world and, and to, to meet God, to 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 
to, to leave this world for the next, to, to leave everything behind. And um, now it will be an awfully great adventure. And I, and I got quite excited in the night when I thought about death and, and, and forgive me if I, uh, please don't think that I, uh, I'm more spiritual than anybody else. I, I just, but I, as I was contemplating dying, I, I was fearful, but what if I die alone in hospital bed? And I, um, and, and I, it, I, I think I, I saw this picture and I, and it made me smile because I, I could see, I, I, you know, it's like a firefighter going into a burning building and carrying this lady out and taking her to safety. And I, and I, I think it, I, it felt to me as if the Lord is saying, Yes, I'm your shepherd, but I'm your firefighter. I will pick up all 14 stone of you, light as a feather, and, and carry you from, from this world to the next. And that, that yeah, I, I, I then fell asleep and, oh, sorry, I was shaking the camera. Uh, I then fell asleep and, and I woke up the next day with, with a song in my heart because I, I know that as Job was saying um, in Job 19 verse 25 and to 27, I know that my Redeemer lives and that in the end he will stand upon the earth and after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. In my flesh, I will see God because my Redeemer, my firefighter, my shepherd lives and he will carry me home. And to die on this earth will be an awfully great adventure. And, but I won't do it on my own. And in yeah. my flesh, I will see God. It's so helpful, Linda, is that picture. The, what's helped me with that this week is this world is the burning building, isn't it? And yeah. so often we romanticise this world, don't we, as being everything we could ever dream of. And I think one of the helpful things of the pandemic and COVID is just opening our eyes to the fact that this world is broken, isn't it? And going mm -hmm. up in flames in mm -hmm. horrible mm -hmm. ways. And so... yeah. It, you know, it's a it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? That the Lord takes us somewhere better, takes us out of the fire into somewhere safe. But but not just safe. We're leaving a a COVID infested world. We're leaving a. You were telling me earlier on your battle to clean your kitchen floor. You know, we live in a dirty, broken world. And but. You know, and my yes, you're 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 you've made reference to I, I really do like decorating my house and but nothing that is beautiful in this world will match up to where we're going. Yeah. But I think for me this week was I do not need to do that journey on my own. My redeemer, my firefighter, my shepherd carries me. And, and I mean that that is romantic in a sense as well. So um, for those who don't know, I'm, I've never been married. And but as the church, we're going to be Christ's bride. Um, and and I often, you know, one of the hymns that I hope that I don't care how many people's at my funeral, but before the throne of God, I have a strong and perfect plea, um, and my name is is engraved in his heart and it's written on his hands and and well in heaven he stands no no force can 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 uh, no nothing can separate me from the love of christ um love of god which is in christ jesus so um 
yeah, it's it's a hard week. It's a hard thing to deal with. We're we're not gonna. We're, we've already said goodbye to many people this year and last year, and it won't stop. But because none of us will live forever. Yeah. Well, don't know what else I can say. The beautiful thing is, isn't it, that in the middle of the night when your fears were rising the Lord met you and showed you that he was on your side and that yeah. he's going to carry you and that you're, you, you're never going to be alone. And that's mm. such a precious thing, isn't it? When the Lord really meets us in those hard mm. spaces and speaks truth over our hearts in ways that totally changes our perspective. So you went to bed anxious and sad and you woke up with a song in your heart mm -hmm. and that was the Lord's work, wasn't it? Um, yeah. Yeah. So praise him, like hard weeks often cause us to dig in, don't they? And preach to ourselves, like, what, what do I know here? What's true? Um, yeah, thanks so much for sharing that with us. Is it okay That's if I pray for it? Yes, please. Father, we are so grateful that once again, you've shown us collectively and specifically to Linda in this week, that you are on our side father that you care when we're struggling that you um you know and that you want to meet us and um, give us your peace and your joy and an assurance that is deep and passes our human abilities father we thank you so much that you've met linda this week and changed her perspective and helped her to see that she will not be alone and that you're going to carry her to glory father thank you that that's true for all of us who are trusting in your son and we we praise you that one day we will meet him face to face father thank you for that promise that um in our flesh we will see you and father mm. we we pray that you'd continue that work in this hard season that we're living in of weaning us off the treasures of this world mm. so that we are more ready and more excited to see you and to um, rejoice and worship you for all eternity father please would you continue that work in our hearts this week in jesus name amen, amen. amen. thanks so much linda really no helpful worries. And um, thanks for listening, everybody. See you next week. Good night and God bless. Be still, my soul. The Lord is on your side. Bear patiently the cross of grief.